Hey there, it's Slammerama from GamingDrunk.com, bringing you a video for NHL 11, and it's probably going to be working for NHL 12, because it doesn't look like ch they changed the deking dynamics or the uh, mechanism for deking in NHL 12, so this is going to be the tutorial on how to do the backward skating deking. I know that sounded really weird, um, now listening to what I just said was like maybe I shouldn't have said it that way but I don't care I'm doing this in one take and have at it but again it looks a lot harder than it really is it's very simple to do here's just a quick run through of what it looks like and it's very handy to do in shootouts it's very handy to do actually in real game uh, depending on your play style especially if you're a big guy big power forward you can use your size and get into areas with this deking the backward skating deking uh, that you couldn't do if you were going forward you would get laid out but anyways, it's very simple, and I'm, there's two ways to do it. I'm going to show you the easiest way. So uh, the, the easiest way is to fake the shot. At this time, you should be holding vision control. Uh, once you hold vision control, if you cross the center divider, like when I say center divider, if you look straight towards the goalie at the net, kind of split the, the ice in two. And if you're holding vision control, what happens is your player automatically starts to turn and puts its back, his back towards the boards. When this happens, if you pull back and start the cradle deke, and I'm showing you how to do it in the right side over there, uh, you could follow along over there. If you do the cradle deke, you will actually start skating backwards and deking. Um, why I use the fake shot is that it forces the turn quicker, and it's easier to time. Uh, I mostly, during the game, I don't do the fake shot one, but for this, the sake of this tutorial, this is a lot easier to learn. So as you're seeing, I'm faking the shot. Once I f am completely turned around, this is when I pull my right stick to the left and back. So see how I'm doing the cradle motion? If you play lacrosse, that's <laughs> I used to play lacrosse, so I always call it the cradle. Um, so again, top view, same thing. I you know, fake the shot. That makes my body completely turn quicker and also takes the timing mechanics right out of it. And then I start cradling the puck, and now I'm a bit available to skate backwards. And that's it. This is Slammer from GamingDrunk.com. If you have any questions, go to the site, and I'll help you guys out there.